Coming to you live from Gravehold, this is Optimal Play. I'm Brandon. And I'm Kyle. And uh, we haven't posted the videos. They're back from just in the depths of our live archives. But we're on a quest to beat every Aeon's End boss, right? Did you know that? <laughs> Did I tell you that? <laughs> I have to play this game more? <laughs> <laughs> a lot more, because we've beaten three of them. How many are there? So, the new... The recently kickstarted wave thirty two got like, it arrived last week. Uh, it's a lot more than thirty two. Oh no! Um, like the 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 box called Past and Future I think has eight boxes or eight bosses in it, uh, and there were a couple small expansions with it also. The and number you have two more boxes behind me. Yeah, we've, and and more over there. Yeah, it's it's a whole thing. Um, nice. The number that I have in my head for the, that I got on Discord or something for the number of nemeses in the game was 50, but I don't know if that was including the ones that like had been kickstarted and not delivered yet or not. So there's somewhere between 50 and 60, and we're on four. We'll be there before you know it. Oh yeah. Just like Spirit Island beating every scenario. Hey, we're well on our way. <laughs> uh, so we're going against Crooked Mask, which is the only core basic ass Aeon's End boss that we haven't defeated on camera yet. We did defeat him once. Yeah. He's tough. In the past. It is tough. Yeah. Uh, what, what's, what's, what's it What's difficulty do? difficulty is five, and he corrupts us, like mm. Frodo and the One Ring. Frodo corrupts the One Ring? Yeah. It's fucked up. <laughs> That poor ring. <laughs> it's been too long since I watched those movies. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> uh, yeah, so what? Is it, is it just his... Is it when we unleash, or how do you gain corruptions? Okay, on yeah. unleash, you gain a corruption, put it on top of your deck, but then shuffle your discard pile into your deck. That's right. This is the one that, that really completely bucks the whole don't shuffle your deck thing. Yep. That's why you'll see in the display there's no diamond clusters or whatever they're Oh, called. yeah. You're, that's a good call. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> Yeah, you uh, you curated this market. I always do. Was there any particular strategy? Um, there's some healing. Okay. There's some sifting. Got it. For like when the, things like end the up. Sifter's pearl. Yeah. yeah. So when things are in our deck that we maybe don't want in our deck, there's a way to potentially get them out of our deck. Potentially. Potentially. Yeah, I like that. Um. I was just looking at the additional rules on Crooked Mask really quick to make sure we're aware of everything when cards are when corruptions are destroyed, put it on the bottom of the corruption deck. So there's nothing punishing us for destroying them in other ways than resolving them. It's just hard to do because they trigger like if they're in your hand at yeah, the turn. I didn't build it for it to like call at, into our discard pile and then destroy something in our discard pile. Oh, okay. There's no there's no combos there. I, I figured. Did. Oh go ahead. Oh, I said, I, was, I, said it, it would, I figured it would be pretty tough, but I also didn't think of it. I mean, I thought of it, but then didn't realize that all the destruction cards I have are from your hand. That's fine. That's yeah. where you mostly want to destroy from anyway. Uh, man, Astro Knights does a lot of destroying from your discard pile, which is so generous. This one doesn't do that very often. I don't feel like Eon's End yeah, lets you... Yeah, not uh, as often, but still, there's, there's enough cards. There's like uh, the spell there... that I almost put in, which was destroy from your discard pile oh, okay. hand, which yeah, is so calm. Like, I just like feel like I always play with it because it's one of the few three-cost spells. I'm like, oh, oh, yeah. Even though it's really good in this one, I would argue. I was like, yeah, let's try something new. Oh, yeah, you didn't give us anything with uh, less than four cost on spells or relics. No. Okay, we're going to need some gems. Yeah, but if you note Transmogrifier, you can... Oh, oh, that destroys a card and gives you a card costing up to three more. Mm-hmm. So it can turn So there's a lot of fours into, into sevens, the threes into sixes. Yeah, okay. Or I like crystals that. into sifter's pearls. I like that. We'll just never be able to afford a transmogrifier. fire. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Derek in the chat says, no time to watch this live right now, but excited we're back to Aeon's End. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah now, hopefully, hopefully we'll be playing it and maybe even talking about it more now that you're done being spending 40 hours a week basically having a second job on stage. But I had such a great long-haired wig. But soon I'll have regular long hair. If you say so. And by soon I mean like... Three years from now. Two years. <laughs> time I'm 31, I'm sure I'll have some nice long hair. I predict by June you'll be tired of it and get a haircut. It's possible. 
<laughs> Especially when it's 105 degrees in the summer. <laughs> I'll just be uh, in in your pool all the time and just blowing, throwing my luscious locks around. No, no long hair allowed in the pool. I don't want that what? stuck in the vacuum. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll get it cut then. <laughs> I gotta swim. <laughs> Perfect. Um, speaking of the chat, I guess, which was, we mentioned the chat several minutes ago. Um, <laughs> we're streaming this, and also this will be a video on the channel, which is, if you're watching this, probably how you're watching it, because we usually have like a single digit number of viewers, and that's cool. Uh, but, whichever way you're watching it, we would love it if you would smash that like button. It's a little thumbs up that's, that's be below us. And uh, subscribe button's cool too. Those things tell YouTube that you like us and that others might like us. And then it, that's, that's all false. But as long as YouTube believes it, yeah. then... Just lie to YouTube. Yeah. It's what then, we do. Then it'll, yeah. it'll recommend us to more people. And that's, that's cool. It's great. Yeah. Uh, shall we get started? Let's do it. You have that turn order deck shuffled? I sure do. Let's go. Me. <laughs> Yeah, shuffled. Okay. Shuffled. <laughs> I see. Um, all right. I will prep Flare into my open breach, uh, which is reveal the top. When I cast it, I get to reveal the top card of the turn order deck and then place it back on top. And if it was a player turn, I deal three damage. And if it was a nemesis, I deal one. Speaking of playing your signature card, we didn't say who we were playing as. Um, I'm Zazos. He's pretty cool. They're pretty cool. I, th I think I think Zazos is a guy. I don't know. Probably don't take all the tokens off your board. Probably the flavor text on the back would answer this. But yeah, <laughs> they have beautiful long hair, like I will soon. So naturally, I had a kindred them. spirits. Okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, wh what's what do they do? Uh, they have an ability called Metaphysical Link. Activate during any player's main phase. Allies collectively gain four charges. Reveal the Ooh. turn order deck and return the revealed cards in any order. Oh, wow. So you just feed me charges. Yeah. And I also look at the entire deck and order it how we want it. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. And then I am Phaedraxa, uh, the Breach Mage Seer. She has uh, Auspex Rune as her ability. Uh, she activates it at an unusual time, immediately when a turn order card is drawn, and it prevents all damage at the Gravehold or, uh, or the players would suffer during that turn. Did I say that, Gravehold? Yeah. Gravehold mm -hmm. or the players would suffer during that turn. Uh, which I'm hoping, I chose specifically to go against Crooked Mask because with a hand, if you have a handful of corruptions, you can see all that damage coming, <laughs> and we can prevent it. Hopefully. Hopefully. That's, that's the dream. Well, I'll tell you what else I'm doing. I'm getting a transmogrifier. Wow. Afforded it. Quick start. I like it. Does, um... Okay, the transmogrifier does not put the card that you gain into your hand. Okay, no. so you're, you're still, like, it's down... Slow, you're still, yeah. like, down a gem the turn you use it to upgrade one. Correct. Okay. All right, and then it's you. Oh, boy. Uh, make sure to draw your hand, because I'm about to interact with it. Sort of. Don't hurt it. I'm going to hurt you. No. Uh, Tourmaline Shard. Uh, I gain an ether to spend in a moment. Any ally may suffer a damage. If they do, they destroy a card in hand. Would you like to suffer damage to destroy a card? Yeah. Sure would. All right. Did I throw that off camera? Yeah, yeah, did. yeah that works. Uh, uh, I've taken a damage. I've destroyed a card. Okay, sweet. I'll prep a spark, and I have three crystals, so I'm at a total of four. But I kind of think I'm going to go for a Searing Ruby. Yeah. 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 Yeah, this gains two ether and a third ether that can only be used to gain a spell. So I can start gaining Ignites and then maybe transmogrifying them into disintegrating sites later and then win. We love it. Yeah. Okay, next turn. All right, next turn is me again. I don't like that we don't have... <laughs> no, it's, it's always scary when the Nemesis <laughs> hasn't gone yet. <laughs> um, I will cast my Flare, so I reveal the top card of the turn order, so we'll get to know. Oh, God. Wow. It's you. Great. Means they're going to have two turns and then maybe some more at, turns. At least two Nemesis turns in a row coming up. This is a uh, good start. All right. I will prep this spark. Um, oh, but because it was a uh, player turn, I deal three damage. Boop, boop, boop. Wow. Got him. We're winning. I did it. And then I'm going to play three crystals and grab a Sifter's Pearl. 
Okay. And then we know it's my turn next, huh? We do. All right, I will cast my spark and deal one damage to the Crooked Mask, and then prep a spark, and I have four crystals. Let me... Hmm. I think I'm going to go... Hmm. Uh... This is so interesting. Ignite. Ignite, when I cast it, it will give an ally charges, that's you, but then your ability gives me charges. So in a roundabout way, it's giving me charges. I love it. Me too. Me too. That said, I think I'll also buy a transmogrifier with these four. I like it. Get the upgrade train going. Upgrade train. Who's next? I don't know. Just kidding. Oh! Who could have seen this coming? Uh, Crooked Mask draws Topple, Unleash twice, and Gravehold suffers four damage. And Unleash is any, any player, player gains a corruption, puts it on top of their deck, and shuffles. So, are we just each taking one here? Probably. Okay. I don't know if it's actually the right play, but maybe early it is. Yeah. But later it'll be to stack it into one hand and then, and like, then prevent it. Draxa, yeah. Just like. I agree. Is it just your deck that gets shuffled, or is it your discard pile too? Shuffle your discard pile into your deck, yeah. Okay. That's right, so I was already finding myself like out of habit, thinking through like, okay, I'm at the end of my deck, so I didn't buy a gem because I wanted to kind of cluster my gems together to have big turns, and already I forgot that, yeah, we're shuffling none of that. Doesn't turn. matter. Nope. All right, what do they do next? Next... Doom Aegis. Aegis? Aegis. 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 Sure. Uh, it's a power. It's got power one. Can we... Does that read on camera? Sure. Yeah. Uh, we have to spend seven to get rid of this, otherwise the player with the most charges suffers four damage and loses all their charges. Uh, wait. 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 Is it the wrong? You promised me you made the deck correctly. These are tier three cards. <laughs> Both of these have been tier 3 cards. Why did you reverse the deck while I wasn't looking? <laughs> you had one job! That's not true, I did everything! <laughs> alright, um, alright, this is great content here as we we just need to... No, there's threes on the bottom too! What just happened? Oh. Did you, someone, did you put the someone leftover threes no, on top? someone shuffled accidentally. Someone being you? I don't know. It wasn't me. Let's go back to the tape. <laughs> All right, let's see. So wait, give me those. We've got, so we should have 10 total threes, right? Three signatures and seven others. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Check whether there's one more in there. One more. 10, all right, shuffle these, put them on the bottom. And then just make sure that there's, uh, there should be what, eight twos, five plus The three. good news is we don't really need to redo anything because the bad guy is going twice. So, so we those just were... need to pick up at turn five. But those were... Oh, 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 yeah. We don't have to rewind like any of our turns. Yeah, that's true. But we should we get should rid of our corruptions. We should unshuffle our corruption, yeah. And hopefully... Hopefully he still deals out corruption, because otherwise our decks should not be shuffled. <laughs> yeah. I feel like we could probably reverse engineer that pretty easily. <laughs> Alright. Uh, this is the twos. Yeah, I definitely probably habitually shuffle the deck because I saw a deck sitting there and I was like, mm, I'm just going to shuffle this deck. <laughs> oh, cannot take you anywhere. Or maybe you did and you're just gaslighting me right now. I didn't touch anything. Mm -hmm. Comment. I did all the cameras. I did everything that the viewers cannot see. I swear I did stuff. Sure. All right. So first get one. the corruption back out of our deck, I guess. Yeah. And I can, I know, I can easily... I have like five cards, so I know exactly where they're going. Yeah. I just have trans, uh, Spark Transmogrifier Crystal should be the order of my draw pile, so that's easy. Um, my draw pile should be like that. Okay. I've done it. All right, viewers, you didn't see any of that. We're amazing at this game. So, the Nemesis' first card is a Bane Sire. Just Bane. a six health... Minion with Persistent Unleash. Oops, let me get these down where they're on visible on camera. A little more. 
And then the nemesis is his next turn. Uh, oh, so let's give Greyfold its health back. because uh, So first it's going to are... unleash. So now someone gains a corruption. I, I guess you. I will because yeah. I f effed it all up. I, I concur. In fact, I think you take all corruptions as punishment. Okay. As long as you heal me all the time. Yeah, sure. That'll happen. Um, skewer is an attack. Unleash any player suffers three damage and draws a card. Perfect. Who's gonna... Who's gonna... So Unleash is gonna give you another corruption. <laughs> but I'll suffer three damage to draw a card. Now what? This is much. Perfect. Now I have a spark so that I, they don't get clumps. Alright. Okay. That's the two Nemesis turns and just to double check, yes, those were both tier one cards. We've <laughs> unfucked it. It's been unfucked. Who's up? Yeah. Me! Alright. I will cast my spark at the Bane's Air, so it's down to five remaining health. Prepare a spark. And then I've got a lot of money. Uh, Tourmaline Shard, would you like to suffer a damage to destroy a card in hand? I am getting a little bit afraid of the damage. Do we have uh, Vim Dynamo we have yeah. for healing? Okay. Uh, oh, and, and Essence Dance also. Okay, so we have a decent amount of player healing. Maybe yeah. not, not Gravehold healing. No. That I see, so that's actually what we want to really, really try to avoid. Yep. Uh, anyway, would you like to suffer that damage to destroy a card? No. Fair enough. Then uh, Searing Ruby and three crystals. So I have wow. six ether or seven if I buy a spell. Can you think of a reason not to just go for a Disintegrating Scythe? No. The one reason, I guess, is that it does deal damage to you. Which, if this is early in the game, you're going to take a lot of damage from one of these. <clears throat> but it's so good because it gets discarded. Sorry, instead of discarding it, destroy it and place it on top of any player's discard pile. And then with the um, uh, with the corruption shuffling our discard pile, it means it's going to be in our deck. Like, towards the top of our deck faster than it normally would. Uh, if that makes sense. True. Well, it's just going into... No, because Wait. it goes to the bottom of the deck when it gets used, normally. Yeah. But instead, it's going to the bottom of the deck and then potentially getting shuffled to the top quickly. Or shuffled into the deck quickly. Oh, sure. Yeah, but it could also be... Like, that shuffling could also make it never be drawn. Yes. <laughs> not, not false. So, I don't know if I follow... Like, I don't think there's anything uh, inherently... Different. Better about spells because of this. Well, I mean, I just think it's like it's getting you can toss it around to whoever you know. So if you want it being protected, you're like, oh, I'll push it to you, and then you don't take corruption. Sure. Either. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of looking at the essence theft just to ge start consistently healing. It deals three damage, and you get a, and a charge, and you can heal someone, and then get oh, a charge no. with my other two. Yeah. You don't, you. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Still yeah I'll, I'll, I'll get the extra yeah. one if I buy yep, a spell. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I think I think rather than starting off by taking extra damage, I'll start off with healing. I like it. Play a little bit of a longer, longer game that way, but I think it's a good five call. less damage though. So I'll buy an essence theft and charge once. Cool. And that's my turn. Great. The next turn belongs to the nemesis. Okay, uh, the Bane Sire is gonna unleash. Did you cast that spark? I cast the spark and prepped another one. All right, I'll take this corruption, I guess. So it's gonna shuffle into. Shuffle that essence theft death right, right to the top. My, I might. I mean, the essence theft is like it's one of an eight card deck now, so there's still there's a five out of eight chance that we draw it. Tempts. Uh, this is a Crooked Mask card. The player with the most crystals in hand discards all their crystals, suffers three damage, and gains a card from any supply pile that costs four or less. That's brutal, but... Uh, I have four crystals in I hand. have four crystals, but I sure wouldn't like to discard them. Oh, really? I would... I don't mind. The, th the three damage is more what worries me, because that would leave me at four. <laughs> Already. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just have a transmogrifier in hand, and I want to be able to blow oh. up this crystal. But I guess I could grab oh, something I also, else. Actually, I also have a transmogrifier in hand, and then it would be the only... Do we both have a hand of four crystals and a transmogrifier? You know it. Oh, that's such garbage. All right. I will <laughs> discard my crystals. Take three damage. Yep. And then gain a card from any supply pile that costs four or less. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. I'm gonna grab a Searing Ruby. Okay. It does not go in your hand. Oh, he just gains it? Yeah. Oh, that's so much worse. Yeah. But I still want to do that. Yeah, it, it's a, it was a terrible time to draw this when we both have four crystals in a Transmogrifier. I was like, oh, okay, I gotta just destroy the four and turn it into something else. Um, I'm gonna go double down on Transmogrifier. Yes. So this basically ruins a turn. Yeah. For one of us, when you this early, well, and I guess it's a phase one card, so it's always going to be early in the game. But pretty brutal. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't have to. If you had like two crystals in hand, it wouldn't have been that bad. Yeah, but it does always target the person with the most of them, so it's probably going to really ruin someone's turn. Yeah. Speaking of turn, me, my ruined turn. Yeah. You discard your transmog fire. You like play uh, it. I guess I can spark first. That actually, um, I guess I don't have the reference cards easily. Remind me after um, this game. So I've always played Aeon's End that if you like for, have, for example, too many spells and not enough breaches to put them in, you they're stuck in your hand mm -hmm. and you fill up your hand. Astro Knights, though, gives you the option to discard at the end of your turn, which made me just just question just enough whether I've always been playing Aeon's End wrong and it also has that option. I don't think it does. You don't think it does? Okay. I, I did mean to check that just out of... Uh, Paranoia from Astro Knights. But Astro Knights does a lot of more player friendly stuff, so that would make. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean Aeon's End, does it? Uh, speaking of. My cards. Speaking of too many spells and not enough breaches, I should really work on opening a breach. Well, it's your turn. Okay. You can work on that. I will. I am going to. cast my spark, I guess. No, it's not going to kill the Banesayer. There's no reason to. Put it back in my discard pile. Well, eh, yeah, fine. I don't know what the right play there is. I like to keep them there so that they're not clogging my deck, but also I like killing Banesire. So mm. uh, then I've got a Transmogrifier, so I'm going to destroy a crystal from my hand, gain a card that costs up to three more, which is just a Sifter's Pearl. And then I have three, and I will. I'm actually a little indecisive between buying another Sifter's Pearl or focusing my Breach. I don't have a spell to put in it, so mm -hmm. I guess I'll buy a Pearl. Okay. With all these Pearls, hopefully I can just open the Breach out right soon. Okay, it's the turn. Alright, and then the next turn belongs to me. I do not have my uh, Corruption in hand. Sadly, I have my Corruption in hand. What's it do? Fever of War. Suffer one damage. Ow. Deal two damage. Oh. So close. Damn. Not close enough. No. And then destroy this, and it goes to the bottom of the deck, I believe? Yeah. Bottom of the corruption deck. Okay. Uh, and I do have a spell to prep, but not one to knock out the guy. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a Sifter's Pearl and two Crystals, so we can look at the top card of our deck and choose to discard it. Oh, I forgot it's each player on the Sifter's Pearl. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Uh, it's my Corruption. So it's this my corruption too. Oh really? Yeah. Mine is dire wisdom. It's the one that gives you a spell from any supply pile, but then gains you three corruptions. <laughs> I'm gonna discard my grim sight because I don't want gravehold to suffer damage. I'm oh, do I? Very torn about what to do here. Yeah, I'm okay with gravehold getting two damage. It's I, just two damage. I think I, I think I'm gonna discard it. Okay. It'll it'll trigger later. It will. Was that everything on your turn? Uh, I have four to spend, so I'm gonna get a Vim Dynamo. Nice. Get that some healing going here. Okay. Next turn then. Belongs to the Nemesis. Oh, there was no drama there. We that was the last card in the deck. Yeah. Oh, I was on the edge of my seat. Oh, who's gonna go next? Run. Can will we get to kill the Vainsire? No, he was always gonna. Yeah. All right. So get one more on us. All right. I'll take a corruption. Shuffle it in my deck. And then... Woven Sky, a power with two power charges on it. To discard this, discard three cards in hand, and then power to unleash any player suffers four damage. This is probably worth discarding three cards. I can probably do it next turn. Okay, I could too. We'll see whose turn comes up. Yep. Uh, like, speaking of which, right now. 
Yours. Okay, so I've got, uh, I'll prep a spark, and then my hand is a Searing Ruby, which is two or three on a spell and three more crystals. So, like, I could af afford a cool spell, but I could also discard my three crystals and then charge. And I have, that I have a turn. pretty bad, like, hand, so yeah. I'm, I'm okay, fine then. with you going for it. All right, then I'm going to buy a Wildfire Whip. You just prep that spark just now? Yeah. Mm, too bad. I'll buy a Wildfire Whip, and then I really need to get a, a Breach open, because I've now bought a couple spells, but mm -hmm. I cannot resist the lure of the expensive spells when I can afford them. You get it. Okay, next turn. If either of us goes, we can kill the Banesire. I get to go. Hooray! I kill the Banesire, but not before looking at the top card of the deck, and it's you! Hmm. Nice. All right, he dies. Overkill, but fine. I love that for us. Oh wait, actually. Actually? Reveal the top card of the turn order deck, then place it on top of the turn order deck. Um, I'm gonna deal three damage to him, objectively the right choice. Because you go next. Oh, because you know I go next. Yeah. And I have a spark. You're right. Good call. Power Good. gamer. We're great at this game. <laughs> uh, oh, before I do that, actually, I have to suffer two damage to Gravehold. Oh, you suck at this game. And look at the top card of my deck, and I may destroy it. I do. It's a crystal. Oh, wow. Grim Sight. Okay. Yeah. These corruptions, you always come away from them feeling like you actually like kind of got, 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 got out of got out of like, like, like it worked out well for you, and then you like then they all add up to you dying. Yeah. <laughs> uh, good, good, good. Um, all right, four crystals. All right, I think it's time for me to get a searing ruby so that I can actually start affording spells. Are you sure that this is from the base box? No. I said, I said at the top of the video. I think that this is the fourth one and the final one in the. Uh, base box, but I think this might be from one of the expansions. I should really, I need to make that list, that checklist so that we know these things. I was just grabbed, I grabbed one of the other level fives, because then the other three that we have to fight, well, the other three that we have to fight left is another level five, a level six, and a seven. Yeah, I think maybe a six or seven is the one that's from the core box. That makes so sense. So I probably, it's fine, it'll be fine. It's fine. Yeah. No one will notice. No. How are they going to know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no one's going to know. I mean, that is a, that is a, uh, frustration that I have w with this game is that there, it's hard to look up stuff like that. Like, what's in... That's why we've talked about doing some videos where we talk about what's in some of these boxes, because if you just want to know, like, what's in the Return to Gravehold small expansion, hard to find out on the internet. Not for much longer. I don't know, that's like six waves in. If we go in order, <laughs> it's gonna be a little while. It's your turn. <laughs> I'm gonna spark the main sire. Yay, you It's dead. It. Oh, I forgot to, um... Discard this guy. Oh, yeah, you discarded three cards, right? Nope. Oh, you just... I you just, just didn't? I just, uh, forgot that that was on the table. So I will not get a th Searing Ruby. Instead, <laughs> I will discard these three crystals. <laughs> Everything's fine. We are... Nothing has changed. At our best today. All right, Woven Sky is gone. Uh, okay, well, I'm feeling lusty. Ooh. For power. <gasps> Lust for power corruption. I suffer one damage and gain one charge. That is, I think, not a good deal. I would rather have the life than the charge. Yeah. You always would rather have a life, but you don't have one. No. No, I don't. Uh, okay, I have prepped a spark. I'll play Sifter's Pearl. Can sift the top card of your deck. Ooh, sure. mine's a good spell. I'll leave it there. I will discard that crystal. No problem with that. Sifter's Pearl. Do it again. I know it's on top, and I'm still going to leave it there. I'm going to get rid of that crystal. Okay. And then a crystal. So I have five, which uh, points me towards Essence Theft, except that I already have too many spells for the number of breaches that I have open. So I think I'm going to focus my breach three and buy a charge. Okay. Okay, that's my turn. Um, alright. Next turn belongs to the Nemesis. He just draws a card. It's Burden. An attack that says the players collectively gain two corruptions and place them on top of their decks. Any player focuses a breach. Uh, wow. Focusing a breach... is cool. But, uh... Who wants to gain two corruption? So I wish that I could... 
what's left in the turn order deck? I think uh, it's a, a Nemesis and you. And mm, a nemesis. Okay. Because I was wondering if I if there was any chance that I could go and finish charging up before your turn. Oh wait, but it would be your next next turn. This doesn't shuffle your deck. No. So they will be guaranteed, unless something else makes you shuffle your deck, you'll be guaranteed to draw these two corruptions on your next turn. So I'm just wondering if I can like have my ability charged up and ready for that. Uh, Seems unlikely if you don't have a turn in this deck. It, it Well, except it's two turns from now, right? For that person, that they'll actually draw and resolve the corruptions. Mm, that's true. So... So I take them both? Yeah, plus you have the higher life total, right? Nope. No, I do. Okay, I'll take them both. No, I, I got it. <laughs> okay. Also, any player that focuses a breach, I'll take that. Hmm, okay. I have the better spells, so I need you, a second breach. You took, you took all the good stuff and I took all the bad stuff. Yeah, it's fair. <laughs> we, each, we each took half the stuff. You're yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, and that's an attack, so that goes away. What's next? You'll definitely be able to get two charges on your next turn, right? Uh, Can you get one charge on your next turn? Yes. Okay. This is crazy. All right, well, let's see what, who goes next. All right, it's me. Okay. Um, so, <laughs> let's see these crazy plays that I'm going to make right now. So excited. I'm going to destroy Vim Dynamo mm. to allow you to gain two life and a charge. Oh, I love that for me. Thanks. You're welcome. I'm going to play Transmogrifier to destroy a card in my hand. I will destroy the Sifter's Pearl. And gain this wildfire whip. Ooh, fun. Did we? I bought one of those early. I don't know if I read it for the stream. Uh, it's a. It does four damage and says, while preps during your main phase, you can spend two ether to cast any player's prep spell. Yep. And then I'm going to play a second transmogrifier. Oh boy. <laughs> Discard the spark for a Sifter's Pearl. Okay. We are annoyingly going to run out of Sifter's Pearls and then have nothing to upgrade our zero cost cards into. Although that doesn't stop us from using a transmog fire to destroy them, I don't think. No. Yeah. And you could also eventually use a transmog fire to destroy like the other transmog, transmog fire. fire and get a <laughs> disintegrating scythe, which is probably what I'll do like pretty, pretty soon. Pretty good, yeah. Alright. That is my turn. Okay. Nemesis is next. Nemesis. Nemesis draws a haze spewer, a classic. A persistent. Gravehold suffers damage equal to this minion's current life, then it suffers one damage. Don't love that. No. With so, a fresh deck, especially, and a spark and nothing prepped on Let me board. go twice in a row, please, so that I can spark it and then essence theft it. Cool. That'll be my plan. I'm sure I can control that. Yeah. Let's see if I die. How do your corruptions look? Are you going to want my ability? Uh, I will let you know <laughs> shortly. I have not looked. Not drawn my full hand yet. Um... Ideally, but okay. Well, I guess well, I guess if you go next, then it's out of my hands. But let's see. No nope. nemesis. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. So oh, this is happening. The haste Fury deals five damage to Gravehold and then one damage to itself. And we're oh, I was about to say we're already to phase two, but I guess I miscounted. We're not. Wait. Did I fuck up the deck again. I don't know. I thought that there were supposed to be six total phase one cards. Kyle, who let you do this? All right, hold on. It has been a couple months since we played this. So yeah, I thought. We are a little rusty, and we're putting our rustiness on mm. the internet for all to see. Uh, all right, I can fix two this. Two-player, yeah, there should have only been three basic cards, so. I can fix this. Ready? Boom. So we, we should be drawn, we should have drawn... Oh, we should have drawn instead of the haste pure. We should have drawn, should have drawn the, the, the last crooked mass card, and then skip past the rest of what, however many ones you put there. Well, yeah. So okay, okay. This is gr so I mean, this instead is a great of video. instead of the haste pure, we drew the corruptor. Is what I'm hearing. Yes, and so I'm going to put life back on Gravehold. The five okay. damage that it did. We'll get rid of the haste pure. It was just never in the deck. Disregard that. Neither and we drew the Corruptor, which is the Crooked Mask minion, that says uh, it has 6 health, and when this minion suffers damage, the player who dealt that damage gains a Corruption and places it on top of their deck, and Persistent Gravehold suffers 1 damage. Okay. Um, and then, 
So that happened. Without paying attention to it, I promise I'm not looking at much other than the numbers. We have, we should have, should have five, uh, eight tier two cards yeah. in here. And so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How did you? Wait, no, 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 it's seven. Seven's right. No, it's five plus three. Five basics and three. I think I reversed ones. the numbers. I think I took out the number instead of putting in that many numbers. Mm. I think that's what it was. I know that when I, uh, the last time we were having deck issues, I checked the, I checked stage three and you had the correct number in there. So I just assumed that it was the correct numbers off of everything. <laughs> that was your mistake. That was my mistake. <laughs> I gave you some credit and I, it will never happen again. <laughs> okay, where are the basic... Nemesis cards, an extra tier two. Here we go. So we need to shuffle this into the top. Uh, just the, just into the tier twos. So yeah. okay. So I'll shuffle this into there. I'll shuffle the bottom. Tier three is just sure. shits and gigs. All right. Now we have officially been playing right all along. A mess of a video. Oh man! All right, what's well, our next card? Well, the goal Brandon? is the goal is to have a video of us beating each nemesis, so we can hope that we, we just don't. lose, yeah. and, then, and then I just won't publish it. Okay. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, I commit suicide. <laughs> so the corrupted all one damage grateful. You got that. Got it. And then. Oh gosh. Pain Sower, another Crooked Mask card. Uh, this one has 11 health and says, Persistent, any player suffers 2 damage, a different player focuses a breach. Okay, so again, we can divide this evenly. <laughs> you can just take the damage and I take the focus. Great. Can't wait. Uh, next turn. Is, damn it, me. Okay, so. Going to be endlessly hungry. Gravehold suffers three damage and gain two life. Oh, all right. You ate a building. Sure did. And then Insatiable Avarice. Suffer two damage. <laughs> place a gem from the least expensive gem supply pile and place it into your hand. Oh, well, oh, that's going to be good when free, we... Free um, Citrus Pearl. When we get rid of the Citrus Pearl soon. Oh, true. If we go through that supply because of the transmogrifiers, then that upgrades. I don't know if we'll see that again, but... Yeah, I think you're. We'll take it. I think you're being a little optimistic on not seeing that again. <laughs> All yeah. right, what's your turn? Better now. Yeah. I mean, not great, but I will prep this flare. Okay. I will play the Sifter's Pearl. Hmm. Oh, top card in my deck is Dire Wisdom again. Uh, Get rid of my crystals. I don't. Well, you know. Now I can charge up my own ability for my triple corruption turn that this is going to make me have. So I'm going to leave Darwism on top and just plan to suffer it soon and get a free spell in the process. Nice. I gained Ignite. Love it. Your turn. Okay, I'm going... I don't want to take a corruption just for... Um, I don't want to take a corruption just to do one damage to the corrupter, so mm -hmm. I'm going to deal my spark damage to the pain sower. Yeah, I think that's very cool. And then, so we were just saying I should probably charge up. Uh, I'll spend two to buy a fifth charge. Now my ability is ready, but it triggers when a turn order card is revealed. Um, also, you from my tourmaline chart, you may suffer damage to destroy a card in hand if you'd like. We are getting tight on damage, so mm. up to you. I'm okay. All right. Then I have a transmogrifier. I will destroy a crystal and gain a sifter's pearl. And then I just have an essence theft to prep. Nice. That's my turn. All right. And then it is your turn. Oh, boy. Okay. So I know from that Sifter's Pearl Peak that I will be corrupted here with Dire Wisdom. Uh, gain a spell from any supply pile. And you know what? We need to take out some minions. I'm going to take a Disintegrating Scythe. I'm going to disintegrate them. I like it. Uh, and then I just gain three Corruptions and place them on top of my deck. Wish you could go right again. Yeah, really. 
you can just cancel all these corruptions. Okay. And I do the rest of my turn now too, huh? Sure do. Oh, this is interesting. I could kill the Corruptor. Should I kill the Corruptor? Yeah. I probably should kill the Corruptor. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna kill series, the Corruptor. Kind of sucks too, but yes. Yeah. So. Right. Yeah. This. This works. This works this way. I can. You. I can. So Wildfire Whip says while prepped during your main phase, you can spend two ether to cast any player's prep spell. I'm planning to use it to cast itself. I am any player. It's my prep spell. I don't see any reason I can't pay two to cast it the turn I play it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I cast Essence Thefts. Um, oh my I... god, are you going to have a five corruption turn next turn and you're going to be able to cancel all the damage? Because that's amazing. Oh, that is amazing. That because is... the Corruptor is going to put two more on top of my deck. As long as, like, yeah. you cannot allow your deck to get shuffled at this point. I mean, I don't think that it's a great feeling to have an entire turn basically wasted, but... To, but like again, the, to the corruptions like usually kind of help. Oh, that's too. true. If you cancel the damage, you're left with mostly just the upsides. Good stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good point. All right. I don't hate this. Polly Dipsyak in the chat says, "I don't think I'll ever get sick of watching people play Aeon's End." Love that. Oh, great. Because we like playing Aeon's End, even if we're uh, rusty at it. Yeah, tonight. Yeah, you're rusty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I am going to cast Essence Theft, dealing three damage to the Corruptor, taking it down to three health. And putting a corruption on top of my deck. You're gonna discard a card to heal. I should, even though I don't like to with this hand. Okay. But yeah, I will. I think that healing you seems like a good idea, so. I like it. Yeah, I'll, I'll just. It does have to be I discard the card, yeah, and then any player gains life. So I'll discard a crystal to gain you a life. Thanks. I'll prep a wildfire whip, and then I will. Play the rest of my gems. It's three ether or four if I'm going to spend it on a spell, but I'm going to spend two of it to cast Wildfire Whip. So dealing four damage to finish off the Corruptor, gaining one more Corruption, right? It doesn't have to survive the damage. Yeah, so it's going to corrupt me. So yes, the top of my deck right now is five Corruptions. It's pretty good. And then uh, I have one ether left that won't do anything for me, so that's my turn. And it is the Nemesis, so the Pain's your Any player um, suffers two damage and a different player focuses a breach. <laughs> Look at this, this hand. <laughs> All green cards. It's pretty cool. It's scary. I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah. Um, so either I take two damage and you focus a breach, or you take two damage and I focus a breach. Um, I... It would be nice to have a breach open, but you've made no progress opening a breach. Do you need the focus? I could... No, I don't need it. No, I don't need it. Okay, I'll I'll gladly take the take the focus while you take the damage, and then I will at some point heal you more. Maybe. Yeah, probably. I'll try. Most definitely. Yeah. And then, twisting madness, two power to discard this. Discard four cards in hand and draw a card. And on power two, Greyfold gains three life and Crooked Mask gains 13 life. I actually don't hate that. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. And I believe the Nemesis can go above its starting health, so it would go to 76 here. But healing Greyfold for three, and then not having to discard four cards and draw one, that all seems okay. I would agree. Yeah. Okay, then next turn. My turn. You want to shuffle that up? I would love to. What are you doing? Uh, there is no turn order deck for Flare, correct? Uh, right, yeah, there's, it's, it's all in the discard power right now. So, it deals one damage to Pain Sewer. Are you saying Pain Sewer? What Definitely Sewer. Pain Sour. Sewer. It sows sour. pain. Does it It sows pain and then it comes back and harvests it. Hmm. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Sifter's Pearl. For the top decking of your choice. Ooh, actually, I will discard Transmogrifier, because oh. that other Transmogrifier yeah, is there. I'll look at the top of my deck. It's a crystal. We'll get rid of it. Having them separated doesn't seem like a bad idea. Um, all right, I will also prep this Wildfire Whip. I like that. And then I have exactly five 
So either essence theft or two charges is what or I'm looking at. Or open right your now. breach too costs five, right? Oh, that was the other thing I was looking at. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I like that. Okay. Okay. My turn. Uh, yes. All right. This is big because I'm gonna use Auspex Rune to prevent any damage that the players of Greyfold suffer this turn. I'm and so now excited. it's time to resolve five corruptions. I'm so excited. <laughs> I haven't even actually read these other than the one that was on the top of my hand. So I'll start with that one. Nothingness. Uh, discard two non-corruption cards. Can't do that. They're all corruptions. <laughs> Suffer two damage. That's prevented. Shuffle any player's turn order card into the turn order deck. Put Shuffle me right back in there. Wow. So that's one down. That was all upside. Yeah. So remember I when you most... said that you lost a whole turn? I got it back. You didn't. Yeah. <laughs> Turns out. Blind Abandon, suffer a damage. We'll cancel that. Oh, but then you may destroy a non-corruption card in hand. Also can't do that because I don't have any, so that one's it's gone. Yeah. Wash. Contagion, suffer damage. We won't do that. Return any card that costs zero in your discard pile to your hand. You know what? Could I have chosen the order that I do this? I, I don't probably, see why not, right? Yeah. Let's double check. Like, yeah, why, how would it know? Um, at start of each player's turn, that player resolves all corruptions in their hand in any order. Okay. So the smart play here is actually to not just do it in the order they happen to be drawn, it's to think about this a little bit and resolve Contagion first, cancel the damage and return a crystal to my hand, and then Blind Abandon, suffer a damage, I cancel that, and then I can destroy a non-corruption card, I'll destroy that crystal. Next, uh, Delirium Veil, Gravehold suffers two damage, that's cancelled, focus a breach. Wow. And Reckless Might, gain a relic from any relic supply pile and place it on top of your deck, Suffer damage equal to half its cost rounded up. Cancel the damage. Um, I don't think I want more Transmogrifier, so I'm going to take a Vim Dynamo. I have to say, I think that's better than a typical turn, and you that, just got it back. That was a really damn good turn. Yeah. Yeah, it turns out, Phaedraxa <laughs> against, is, is you the know. key to this enemy. <laughs> I mean, also, the, the fact that you were able to line up five in a row is yeah. so rare. Yeah, with, with, the, uh, with finishing charging up my ability, like with that in, in striking distance and everything, this is not something that you can necessarily do in every game against Crooked Mask. But, but damn, did it feel good. That worked really, really well. Well, wow. with that, whose turn is next? It is the Nemesis' turn. Okay, so this is less going to go less well. Um, <laughs> Pain Sower is going to make any player suffer two damage. Uh, I'm at eight, so I'll take the two, and you focus a breach then. Focus my four breach. And Twisting Madness loses a power, and then that uh, Gravehold suffering or gaining life and Crooked Mask gaining three life will happen soon. Third card is Awaken. It's an attack either Unleash twice and Gravehold suffers three damage, or put the most recently discarded minion card in the Nemesis discard pile back into play, which would be the Corruptor. I think it's the... Oh, man. I think it's I think I it's know. objectively just let it do the things. Like, unless you can one-shot the Corruptor, we're going to get an Unleash twice, kind of. Oh, yeah. And then it's also going to so be it's... pinging Gravehold. Yeah, I agree. So I guess if you can't, okay. if we can kill it in two shots for sure, it potentially will do less damage to Gravehold yeah. if we bring him back. Okay, I'll take the Unleashed, well I guess we could split it up. But well, I'm, saying, can... I'm saying that like potentially the right call is not doing this. I'm saying. What do you mean can... not doing this? Doing... <laughs> not, not, not <laughs> doing what? Not doing the first one. Because that oh. one suffers Gravehold 3 damage. If we can reliably kill them in 2 hits, I think we can probably do less damage to Gravehold. But it also soaked, then it's also like the Nemesis oh, healed by yeah, six, six almost. Yeah, 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 you're right, let's do it. I think, yeah, okay, so we'll choose Unleash twice. I'll take the Corruptions. Yeah, I'll just cancel them, it'll be great. Yeah, probably. Okay, that was the Nemesis turn. Who's up? Me again? Nemesis again. Oh god, okay. Pain Sir, we need to get turn on the healing. Um, I'll take the two damage again. You can focus a Breach again. Alright, four is almost open. Yeah, that's nice. It's not not nice. Uh, Twisting Madness goes off, so Gravehold heals by three, and Crooked Mask heals by thirteen. And the new card is a Venomite, nine health and Ugh. persistence. We either have the player with the lowest life suffer two damage, or any player discards a prep spell that costs three or more. Um, These enemies are becoming an issue. Yeah, we really need to turn on the damage. The minions the are... damage and the healing. Yeah. Yikes, yikes, yikes. 
Uh, that's that's its turn though, and now it's out of the it's out of the turn yeah, order, right? So it's just uh, so that that feels better. Yeah. Um, all right, I'm going to cast Wildfire Whip, and I can do four damage. I think probably to the pain. No, I kind of think it's the Venomite. Venomite. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Four damage. damage. Four damage there. Great. Um, I'm going to. Hmm. He has five left. I'm going to play a Sifter's Pearl. Nice. To... Uh, I'll keep this Searing Ruby on top. I'll discard that crystal. Actually, no. Because on my next turn, I'm also going to be playing Sifter's Pearls, so I'm just going to look for spells. <laughs> I'm going to sift until I find spells with all these Sifter's Pearls. Um, I'm going to transmogrify this crystal into the Sifter's Pearl. Oh, that's the last one. Indeed. Um, and then... Finally, I have just this three hand. It's pretty bad. That is pretty bad. A charge it is. Okay. Yeah, that's right. You can essentially contribute to me using my ability more. Yeah. With that. Which I'm pretty happy to do. All and right. actually, it combos great with my character because also ordering the like knowing who's next lets us kind of line up. Maybe it's probably turn. it's probably never going to be as good as the one I had, but no. still, <laughs> very unlikely. And it's you again. Okay, then it'll be me twice. All right. All right. Um, I'm going to play a transmogrifier and destroy the sifter's pearl for this clouded sapphire. Oh, nice. And yeah. that's the one that, uh, that do, allows you to gain charges. Three and an ally gains a charge. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, I should have casted my Ignite, which also allows you to gain a charge. Oh, thank you. And do two more damage to the Venomite. Thank you for that as well. You are so welcome. And then two crystals means charge for Kyle, and it's your turns. <laughs> I suppose it is. <laughs> All right, I'll prep a spark in my plus one damage breach. Um, play a Vim Dynamo, and I'll destroy it. Uh, you can gain two... Uh, yeah, you gain two life and a charge. I like it. Oh, and that's destroyed. And then time to start sifting again. The Sifter's Pearl, so reveal... Ooh, it's my disintegrating scythe. I think I'll leave that on top. <laughs> and then I have another Sifter's Pearl, so that's wasted for me, but you're sifting twice here. I'll get rid of this Transmogrifier and that Crystal. Okay, and I have a Crystal making 5 Ether. I'll buy an Essence Theft. Try to, try to keep that healing coming. Yes, please. Alright, one more turn for you. Okay. I do have some Corruption shuffled in here. But not in my hand. Uh, these are some big spells that I have now. Let's... Hmm... Do you, oh, you have a one damage, potentially one damage card in play. Okay. Yeah. I was trying yeah. to decide whether I, wanted to, damage. whether I wanted to leave the Venomite at one because all my spells are too big to want to, be, to feel good about doing the last damage. <laughs> but sure, I will spark the Venomite. And then, oh, the Pain Sower's at nine? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to prep Disintegrating Scythe, which deals eight damage in my plus one damage breach. So I'm looking at ex exactly the Pain Sower amount. Exact lethal. Yeah. And an Essence Theft. And then... Sifter's Pearl again, so we can sift. It's a crystal, I'll discard it. It's a Cloud of Sapphire, I will not. Okay. Uh, Tourmaline Shard, would you like to suffer a damage to destroy a card in hand? I'm skeptical about that being a good idea, but you may do it. No, I'm okay. Okay. And a crystal, so I have four to spend. Uh... Hmm. I mean, a route to victory is certainly just we buy the ignites and stuff, and we're just charging up and using my ability so much that we cancel so much damage. Do I, like I, do I buy an ignite here? I think so. I'm also tempted to just open this breach, but when I'm you're down to your last it. one, like the odds yeah. of something just like granting a focus are so high that it's, I'll just let it. I'll just let it happen to me. Yeah. Yeah. That'll happen. All right. Okay. Then I go. Oh good, perfect. I cast Flare, 
I take out the Venomite. Cool. I look at the top card, and it is a Nemesis, so... So you only did one damage? Did the one damage. Perfect. Um, sadly, it means I won't be able to... Oh, actually... Can you reorder the turn deck? No, oh! but I can cast that Disintegrating Scythe right now. <laughs> Which feels pretty... Good when he's about to go. Yeah, I think so. As long as you can spare the two ether. Sifting pearl, okay. Oh, it's uh it's my corruption. Uh I'll sift it. Who needs that? Okay. I'll let I'll I'll try to let my corruptions reach critical mass again. <laughs> um and then I have four more, and honestly I think I'm just gonna charge up. ZS in the chat says, I really should get this game. I agree, you should. It's a good game. It's quite good. And there's a lifetime of content for it now. <laughs> Which we own. No, Brandon it, it, owns. It, yeah, some of it is uh, Squish. Also, Sifter. Right. Again. Oh, you uh, can't. Oh, uh, I can't. No, actually, I'm... I think that when you would look at... No. I when I'm getting games to do, you don't, yeah. you don't flip your deck because so you would look at drawing, it. Yeah. I could have sworn we got corrected on that. On a video. I can't remember. We'll check later. Let us um, know in the comments if I should have flipped my deck over because he played a Sifter's Pearl. But I will say this I just spent two of these essences and cast your Disintegrating Scythe. I love that. What are you doing nine damage to? The thing that has nine hit points. The Pain Sower it is. <laughs> and you took one damage because Disintegrating Scythe does that? Sure did. And then instead of discarding this, destroy it or place it on top of any player's discard pile. So. Are you, uh, which player's discard pile? I assume you're not destroying it. You could, but hmm. I would not appreciate that. You're taking it? I'll take it. Wow. Rude. Yeah. All right. All right. I just have a far smaller deck than you do right now, and it mm, would be... Valid. Yeah. It'd be coming up sooner. Okay. Um, but Wait. yeah, I fully charged up. That's what the rest of my things oh. were used for. Okay. Are you, uh, using it or waiting? I don't know, what do you think? Right now is good because I have exactly the number of empty charge slots that you grant. I know. <laughs> so, like, nothing would go to waste. Yeah, and, and then we could order and the rest of the And it lets you reorder the turn deck, yeah. So I feel um, like we still leave the Nemesis on top, but followed shortly by some of us. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Um, so you're using it? I'm using it. Okay, I'll get it here. Just hand me four of those charges. Thank you. And your is it just look at the top card, or you don't, don't you look at the whole turn order deck? Reveal the turn order deck and yeah. return the revealed cards in any order. Um, I feel like it's that. I agree. Yes, I've done it. All right, and I have my rune charged up. Is that your turn? That's my turn. Then... Did you spend your... Oh, you bought charges with the rest of your ether, yeah. Uh, okay, so flip that Nemesis card. Crooked Mask lays waste. Unleash twice, any player suffers two damage. Well, I have said that I kind of wanted to try to get up to a critical mass of corruptions again, so I will take them from the Unleash twice. Shuffle them in here. Um, you have one more health than me, so you suffer the damage. Yep. I mean, if we if we get down to it, to where people might be de be getting exhausted here, I could always use my ability on a nemesis turn. But I really, really liked using it on a handful of corruptions. Oh yeah, that was amazing. It was so good. But we do really, 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 really not want to die. Yeah, and need to get some healing to happen. Okay, next turn is me. You. All right. Well, I will cast essence theft. So it'll deal three damage to Crooked Mask. You did it. And I can discard a card in. Oh wait, wait, wait. Let me back up slightly. Uh, Fever of War. My corruption does have to trigger. I suffer one damage and deal two. So another two to Crooked Mask. And then Essence Theft does let me discard a card in hand. Um, yeah, since I can't easily transmogrify my crystal anyway, I'll discard a crystal to heal myself for one. Uh, I will prep Wildfire Whip. All that's left in this hand now is a Transmogrifier and a Spark, and I'm debating whether to prep the Spark or to my plus one damage breach or just destroy it. I 
kind of think just destroy. Yeah. Okay, so Transmog Fire will destroy Spark, but there's nothing I can take in return, so it's just gone. Sad. Okay, come on, Corrupted Hand. Only one. No, I want them all. Ooh. I'm fine with this one, though. Okay. It's Endless Hunger that damages Greyfold but heals me. Right now, even though we were saying like we don't have Greyfold healing, I'm more worried about us. Yeah. <laughs> uh, agreed. All right, my turn? Yep. Alrighty. Um, Wildfire Whip. I might leave prepped until there's a minion, so I feel like we want to be able to snap them off real quick. Okay. We do want to eventually... Oh, and I'm going to move, since I decided not to prep my spark, move that to the plus one damage breach. We do want to eventually kill the boss, Kyle. Yeah. Just food for thought. Nah. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm going to transmogrify this Ignite into a Scythe. Ooh, that's fun. Yep. And then I'm going to play this. The, sadly, the ally goes to waste. Ally charge goes to waste. But oh, I do have yeah. five. Um, essence S theft. theft. Yep. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> I did it right. Okay. Nemesis turn. All right, Nemesis Vexes. Uh, it's an attack. Discard the top two cards of the Nemesis deck. For each tier three Nemesis card discarded this way, Gravehold suffers four damage. Uh, this is interesting because it's a phase two card. So it's like, it depends on how far into phase two this is drawn. But it is going to like accelerate us towards phase three, which is scary. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, discarding two. That's a phase two. And that's a phase two. So, so nothing happened except, us. yeah. And I mean, there's a point where our our plan could be to outlast the deck. I feel like it's a little too early to talk about that. There's still a lot of cards left, but. There is a one showing here. Oh, that's me. I'm hungry. Endless hunger. Grateful suffers three damage. But I gain two life. I need to gain some life. I need to get a life. You do need to get a life. Uh, well, we can look for some healing via this Sifter's Pearl. Uh, that's a corruption. Oh. Is it like... I want to... I just don't... I, I, pro I should not probably be sitting here, like, wanting this best-case scenario to happen, because it's just not going to. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll sift past that, because I'm going to play another Sifter's Pearl. It's a crystal. I'll get rid of that, too. Get rid of the Sifter's Pearl. Um... Yeah, I'll get rid of this crystal. I guess be, it's, it's because I don't have, like, I don't need to clear up breaches, I'll pull a Kyle and not cast my Wildfire Whip. Uh, but I'll prep and ignite, and then I have a Tourmaline Shard. You may suffer damage to destroy a card in hand. Uh, and let's keep the Essence Theft flowing. I have five, so I'll buy an Essence Theft. Keep it flowing. First is Nemesis. Okay. I'm a little scared. Yeah, I could always use my ability. I I wish there was a like a, at least a minion in play that would also we'd also be canceling. I say no. No. Yeah. All right, and the winner is Ruin Priest. This is the first tier three card, so we just narrowly avoided all that damage from, yeah. <laughs> from that card. Uh, it has a this is a, a minor seventeen health. Uh, it's a Crooked Mask minion, and it says Persistent. Any player discards three non-corruption cards. <laughs> that player gains three corruptions and places them into their hand. Well, that's where you use that your ability. That creates the turn I was looking for, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Alright, I don't hate it. Oh, except it's now. Oh boy. Okay, well, give it to me. Uh, I'm gonna... Are you... Okay, I mean, I can also take it. No, 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 no. I'm gonna discard two crystals and a spark. I've okay, got three yeah. good discards. No, okay, that's, that's good. <laughs> Take three corruptions. I wish I also had another corruption in my hand. I don't currently, but... Nor do I. Uh, oops, that's five. <laughs> this is three. Okay, oh, these are like the same ones I had before. <laughs> Great, we've cycled through the deck already. Uh, yeah, you're like, well, I don't know if we'll see that again. Uh, so one of them is the one that doesn't do damage, just gives you, uh, just gives you three more corruptions. <laughs> It'll be fine. It'll be fine. But yeah, if I'll I just charge you up again, but the other two would deal a combined four damage to me. So I will definitely be using my ability on my next turn. Uh, but first, we still have to draw a card for the nemesis, and it is Reality Rupture to discard, destroy two prep spells that each cost three or more. Otherwise, we unleash three times. Oof. 
power one, but now the nemesis has been drawn twice. We have the time to Fuck around. figure it out. Yeah. But destroying two prep spells feels pretty bad. Pretty bad. I kind of think we just unleash, except the unleash. This is also pretty bad. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and, I, and I remember when we were beating our heads against this, it took us like three or four tries to beat this for the first time. And every time the takeaway was like, okay, we need to avoid the corruptions. We need to not look at them as good things. <laughs> They're so tasty. I know. I know. All right, what's the next turn? The next turn is me. The good guy. All right, I will cast Wildfire Whip. At, oh, we need to kill the ruin priest. Yeah. I know it's seventeen, but we we gotta do it. Right. Four. Yeah. Okay. So it's down to thirteen. Yeah. Hmm. Can I do this? No, I can't. <laughs> okay. I guess I'll just do it this way. Um, I'll play transmogrifier to knock out this crystal. Not get anything. We'll play the Sifter's Pearl to get a charge. Do you have a um, Disintegrating Scythe to prep? Sure do. Because if I cast that with my Wildfire Whip on the turn that I'm canceling all damage that I take, I don't take damage from it. Uh, Sift, if you will. I will. Oh, it's a Corruption. Uh, I will... I guess I'll just mill it. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Love it. I have two prep spells. Okay. And it is my turn again. Oh, well, maybe you're the one casting your Disintegrating Scythe. And going down to two damage? Two life? I don't know. You could leave it for me to cast, although it would, well... Let me see what I got. It'll cost all my money, but I don't really... I don't have enough money to, like, buy something good, so... I don't I don't mind if, if it spends all my money. Okay, I will cast it. Okay. I will cast the Disintegrating you, And you know what you could do? Because if Flare hits for 3 damage, you can take out this Ruin Priest, right? No, no, it has 13, not, I was thinking 11. Um, never mind, you're good. So what are you doing 8 damage to? Uh, the Priest. Okay. It has and 5. And you can hit it for exact lethal with a Wildfire Whip, right? Uh, correct. Okay, then I will cast my Flare, which does 3, because we know there's a player card on top. Oh, that's true. Uh, to what? To the boss? Boss. Just checking. 68. It's back below its starting nice. health. <laughs> um, Alright, I'm going to prep... I'm going to give you another charge that you're wasting. Damn. And I'm going to open this 4 breach. Okay. And I'm going to prep this side there. Oh jeez. Speaking of which, the previous oh, yeah. side you put in your discard pile, or you you want to give it back to me? Sure, I'll give it to you. You don't have the uh, health to keep casting these anyway. No. Did you lose the health for casting yours? Yes. <laughs> and then I'm gonna prep this essence theft. That is good. And that's it. Okay. Your turns. My turns. All right. So yeah, wildfire whip prep for my plus one damage breach kills the ruined priest, which feels good. So we did 17 damage to it, before, and it only got one turn. That's, I feel good about our, you know, our state if we can pull that off. Yeah. Uh, so that's Wildfire Whip. Um, I'll go ahead and cast Ignite also, dealing two damage to the boss, and you gain a charge. I like that. I like it too, because those come back to me. Exactly. Uh, I got ahead of myself again, though, because I have a handful of corruptions. <laughs> so nothing, nothing's going to change there, I don't think. I but you're uh, popping yourself off. Oh no, nothingness makes me discard two, two non-corruption cards? Oh, that sucks. Yeah, so I'm going to lose my essence theft to this. Um, okay, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to use my Auspex rune, canceling any damage that I would take on my own turn here. Good. And then... Uh, Jeez, I'm going to... I need you to charge me up so that I can do this again on my next turn. Um, well, your next turn is next, so I don't think I can do that. Oh, that sucks. Because Dire Wisdom, I'm going to gain a spell from any spell supply pile. Oh, so you should totally not pop yourself off yet, right? Because you're about to I'm about to have even more cards, but these are going to do worse. four damage to me. Are they? The t other two in my hand do two And they're each. discarding two cards? Yeah. Damn. Really? Really. Seems unlikely. That's that's it's gonna happen. 
Um, oh wait, I have a way to at least keep my essence theft. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna resolve these in a different order again. <laughs> uh, insatiable Avarice. So, suffer two damage. That's cancelled. Place a gem from the least expensive gem supply pile into your hand. So now I can discard this instead of my essence theft. <laughs> nice. Uh, that's destroyed. Then, nothingness. Discard two non-corruption cards. So it's two searing rubies. Oof. Yeah, but I think I want the essence theft and the heal. Mm -hmm. uh, wait, what else did that do? Don't take it away so fast. Uh, shuffle any player's turn order card into... Oh, you could shuffle yeah. me in. You have a lot of cool stuff in play. Yeah, why don't you shuffle one of you in? That's a good effect. Yeah. And then Dire Wisdom. Gain a spell from any spell supply pile. Am I afraid of the disintegrating sites, though? Should we have more than two of them between us? They, they are damaging us. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe I'll just take another Essence Theft. I like it. But then I gain three Corruptions and place them on top of my deck. And destroy this. So, charge me up. Daddy. Exactly. And that's, all, that's the Corruption phase. I, out of order, did my casting, and so I will prep an Essence Theft, and then draw these three Corruptions, and... It's me! Two other cards. It's you! I need you to give me five charges this turn. That's impossible. You know, it's not a, it's, it's actually not, not the end of the world. Uh, the Corruptions in my hand will do two damage to Grayfold and two total damage to me, so if I can't cancel that, okay. uh, I'll live. Two damage to you? Okay, yeah. yeah, so I'm still casting this Essence Theft on me, then. <laughs> um, especially because this Disintegrating Scythe is going to be cast on me right now. I mean, you could le you don't have to cast it. But I am. What's the... I mean, so, yeah, there's still enough cards that I guess we still go for killing the boss, we gotta right? Go for yeah, so it uh, takes it from 66 to 57. A few Nine more, damage, a, yeah. A few more Disintegrating Scythes, and we'll be close. Um... I guess this can go to your discard pile, but mine's still smaller. Yeah, although your life is lower. Up to you. I've just healed by one, so I'm back at two health. Okay. Uh, discarding this card. And doing three damage to the mouse. Nice. What does that do? Bad thing? Reality Rupture is going to make it unleash three times. But we decided we would rather do that than, than destroy two prep spells that cost three or more. That's still probably true. Probably. If we lose, it'll probably be because of that decision. Agreed. <laughs> and I can live with it. Um, I think I'm going to... Play Transmogrifier and get rid of this other crystal. Okay. I'm going to prep this Wildfire Whip. Sift, look at the top card of your deck. It's crystal, I'll sift it. I'm going to sift this transmogrifier because that's a great time for them to line up together. My deck is big. My deck's small. You know I said deck, right? Oh, no. My deck is fine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the um, corruptions, I don't know how many of them are in here, but they worry me. They worry me too. But it's your turn. Oh, good. All right, so... The, uh, two of these I can't even take it... Well, oh, wait. Ah, uh, because of your Sifter's Pearl, I can now take advantage of the good side of two of these corruptions that we're going to go to waste. So, You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, Contagion, I suffer a damage, and I can return a card that costs zero to my hand, so that's the crystal that I sifted. And then... Blind Abandon, suffer a damage, so that takes me down to four... And I can destroy a non-corruption card in hand. I'll destroy that crystal. Beautiful. And destroy that. And then Delirium Veil. Two damage to Gravehold, and I can focus a Breach. So hey, I got that got that free focus that I decided to wait for. So why don't you throw... I'm going to reorder these. You have to resolve the, whatever order you resolve them in. Yeah, but order. Delirium Veil could have been in any order. I'm just going to put it on top of the deck. I would rather draw that sooner than player damage Fair. with the way this has been going. Of course, now Gravel's going to get hit for like 12, and I'm going to regret that, but such is life. Indeed. It is. Uh, still, still your turn. That was only my corruption phase, Kyle. Corruption I still have phase. a big turn ahead. Big turn. Um, and it is as follows. It's not going to be much. Uh, I'm going to cast this Essence Theft? I think so. I guess. I, mean, I have to discard a Sifter's Pearl to get the healing worth it. It's a good card, but okay, so 
I'll deal four damage to the boss and heal you for one. Yay! And then prep an essence theft, and that's my turn. I like it. It's your turn. Okay. Oh, I have a lust for power again. I'm gonna suffer damage and gain a charge. Mm, now I can but now get I have one fully charged. Yeah, please do. Um, charge me up, Daddy. I can. Yeah, I look forward to it. And then I have a hand of things. What kind of things? Uh, like a things like well, I'll cast an essence theft. Um, since I keep gobbling up the corruptions, I think I'll heal myself here. Yeah. Found that. So I'm gonna. I have a crystal that I can discard to heal one. And four damage to the boss. And the discard order is this way. Okay. And then I will prep an essence theft. And I am going to transmogrify a sifter's pearl into a wildfire whip. Like it. That's my turn. And then it is my turn. Yay. <laughs> you finally got a turn. I have a turn. What are you going to do with it? I have to waste a charge, everyone knows that. So I'm gonna get three and give you a charge. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> that Clouded Sapphire really doesn't, in, oh, a, two, in a two player game anyway, Perfect. that really does not does not synergize with your ability. No, not, <laughs> not with my ability. Um, Wildfire Whip will get cast and deal five damage to the boss. Nice. Okay, 41. It's starting to be in striking distance. Ish. Ish. Um, Sifter's Pearl doesn't trigger for me, but it can trigger for you. Uh, sure. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll get rid of that corruption. Okay. That's, I think, the third time that I've sifted past this corruption. It's been in my deck forever. <laughs> Alright, uh, five charges means I pop off. Okay. Here, I'll take four. four of them, waste one of them, but now I'm all charged up. Daddy. Um... How do we want to do this? Oh, uh, probably me last. Yeah. Well, no, no, me first, yeah. <laughs> so that I can heal myself up to five. Because I feel like Nemesis cards almost never deal more than four damage. So if someone has to take four, then I'll be at five and can take it. Uh. I guess I'll go between, but not that there's much reason. Sure. Me, Nemesis, and you, Nemesis. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds fine. It's as good as any. The Unleashed three times is what we need to figure out. Is that just all going to go into your deck so that you can probably cancel I, it? Probably, because I already have several, so it, so maybe I'll end up yeah. getting a hand and that I, I can none. cancel. Yeah. Okay. I've done it that way. Okay, so it's my turn next? Uh, it should be. Yes. <laughs> Okay. It should be you, Nemesis, me, Nemesis. So, no corruptions in my hand for once. I will cast Essence Theft, discarding a crystal to... Uh, oh, wait, is that order? Uh, discarding a crystal to heal myself for one and dealing four damage to the boss. I don't hate it. 37 left. I'll prep a spark in a bonus damage breach. And then I've got a Sifter's Pearl. Uh, I think I'll keep this Disintegrating Scythe on top of my deck. I like it. And uh, are, you can sift too. Mm, I would love to get rid of the sifters. <laughs> and then I have a tourmaline chart. If you would like to suffer damage to destroy a card in hand, be my guest. Which actually, if it's a corruption, maybe is worth it. Otherwise, no, probably not. Okay. Uh, I have four total. I guess I'll buy an ignite. At this point, I have three open breaches, and I just Vin want to cast, cast as many. Our Vim Dynamo is interesting with the for the healing. Oof. No. We have five essence thefts between us. Kay. That's enough healing. We need to kill the boss. I'm going to take Ignite. Okay. That's like the plan. It. I like it. All right. Nemesis turn, right? Mm-hmm. So, ooh. I have three spells in my next hand, finally. Get to use all three breaches. <laughs> Reality Rupture ruptures us. Mm. Unleashing three times. So I'm going to take all three is what we decided. Yeah. I'm the one with more health and more strategy. Well... One of those things. <laughs> More strategy. <laughs> okay, so shuffling those in. I almost want to, like, so far I have not sleeved Aeon's End, but I almost want to sleeve it for playing Crooked Mess, because there's actually shuffling. I know. 
All right, what do we draw? Right. Yeah. Topple. Unleash twice, Gravehold suffers four damage. Give me two more corruptions, yeah. why not? <laughs> Take them. Four damage to Gravehold, okay. All right, All it's right. still at 15. It's, yeah, we're still in striking distance. Yeah, and you go next? Uh, yeah, I do. So, uh, my flare will just do two damage. So do I want to? No, because I have only two more spells. Well, although you're getting more, I think I think cast it because you're getting more uses of the plus one damage breach that way. I, mm, mean, I think okay. that changes the logic. Yeah, I think that's fair. Two damage because there's a nemesis on top. I'm gonna transmogrify this transmogrifier to be transmogrified into. Wildfire Whip. Yeah, he can't damage himself. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to prep Disintegrating Scythe and Essence Scythe. That's a lot of damage. And I'm going to prep a lot of damage too. Do I want to hold on to this crystal? We're going to do this. For the purposes of Essence Thefting it. Probably. Probably. Maybe not. Nah. Yeah, probably not. No. No. <laughs> not when it's this, not unless this thin. Draw the rest oh, of your deck. Yeah. <laughs> I like have a ten card deck at this point. Jeez, Nemesis. Okay, so again, before we reveal yeah, this card, really ten card. Like we're not. Yeah, we're not so close. Like if we were so close to winning that this was probably the Nemesis's last turn, I would say we just cancel the turn, the damage. No. But I guess I save my ability. You save your ability. And the Nemesis draws Doom Age. Thank God you saved it. To discard this, spend seven. On power one, the player with the most charges suffers four damage and loses all their charges. Yeah, that would be, uh... Next Nemesis turn would be a good time to use my ability then. Yep. And it would cost me my charges anyway. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So if the Nemesis goes next, just... You draw just, another you Nemesis know. right now. I'm all for it. Yeah. Well, In yeah. fact, that would... Yeah, that'd be great, because then on my turn I can buy more charges. Yeah. I like it. Nemesis, here you come, you... Damn it! <laughs> Alright, I'll cast the Spark at the Nemesis for two damage. I have two Searing Rubies, so I have four, but if I use them to buy spells, I have six. So I guess I'm gonna go for a Wildfire Whip. We're just going for the DPS. And uh, I have an Ignite, a Wildfire Whip, and a Disintegrating Scythe to prep, so that, with the plus one damages, I have nine... Uh, 14, 15, I have 16 damage prepped. So if you can just do the other 17, we're golden. Easy. I mean, I currently have 12 damage prepped, so pretty we're all, close. We're almost there. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, next is you again. Oh, boy. Um, okay, I only have one corruption, so yeah, I don't, I don't need to use my ability here. Yeah, it's okay. This is Insatiable Avarice. I suffer two damage. That would feel good. Place a gem from the most, least expensive ex uh, supply pile into your hand. Hey, sure. So Ruby now. Yeah, yeah, we are up to the more expensive ones. It's <laughs> fun. And then, and then what? I am going to cast some spells. I wish I could heal myself. Me too. I guess I could by like casting your essence theft, or prepping and casting my essence theft. But no, we're going to cancel the next Nemesis turn. I'm not in too much danger. Um, God, this is driving me nuts. So, these these tokens I got on Etsy, these little teardrop tokens, they come in two sizes, and they're already a little hard to distinguish, but I swear there's one red token that is, like, between the two sizes. <laughs> like, I am at three life, not seven, right? This is a one, yes. not a five? Okay, I'm going to switch it to one that's obviously a one, because that keeps messing with my head. Where were we? <laughs> I was going to do a million damage. Um, disintegrating Scythe, I'll put it in my own discard pile, 9 damage to the boss, and I take, and I suffer Your damage myself. discard pile? Yeah. A oh, you think you're, deck. okay, okay, fine, you just, you just blitz it, take, yeah. kill yourself in the process, <laughs> alright. fine. Uh, it's at 24 now. Wildfire Whip will do 5, so it's at 19, and Ignite will deal, uh, th uh, this would, did not have plus one, so two damage, and you gain a charge. I've done so. And then I'll prep an essence theft, and... Am I... Tr when I have a transmogrifier. Am I... Playing it? No, I don't think I care to destroy anything anymore, so I think I'm going to play my gems first. 
I have a total of four here, or five if I buy a spell, but I, just in case the healing's helpful, I'm gonna buy a Vim Dynamo. And then I'm gonna play Transmog Fire last, and it says destroy a card in hand, so I can't. And that's my turn. I can win on my turn. You can win on your turn? Because you're gonna cast my spell? No? It's your turn. Let's see it. Disintegrating Scythe. Okay. I take one. Uh -huh. I do nine. Down to eight. Yeah. Essence Theft. I discard. I do three. Three. Uh, okay. I heal one. How are you doing five more? Well, I'll tell you, friend. I'm gonna prep a Wildfire Whip into my own Oh, you cast itself! And I cast it. Yeah, five damage makes zero. I had to check. Exactly, yeah. Cole. <laughs> damn. Wow. Okay. I did not expect that, and I was like, wait a no. minute. I was like, wait, I have a wildfire whip, and I was like, damn, Essence Theft is one damage short, and I was like, wait, if I prep it in the one, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that was a good game. That, that was, was fun. Really, really fun. We um. We were narrowly escaping death. Oh my yeah. god, it happened to me too. You have, yeah, you have that uh, vague token, I don't know. Um, I don't even know what to call it. It's an imposter token or something. Uh, anyway, yeah, we had a total... It is slightly smaller. Yeah. Holy shit. It's yeah. so weird. We had a total of five health between us. You had three, and <laughs> I had two. two. And, and so the healing and the damage canceling was absolutely clutch to winning there. We would, oh, not, we yeah. would, would not have come... We would probably would not have survived phase two of the deck. No. No, <laughs> Without that. Not. And then I can't believe I really thought that we had enough healing that Gravehold damage was going to be the issue, and it was not. Not even a little bit. No. No, we cancelled some, like, when I was cancelling, primarily when I was cancelling um, Corruptions that would deal damage Gravehold, but... Yeah. Uh, but not that much. Yeah. Like, we only cancelled, like, five to seven damage to Gravehold. Right. Like on those lines. I'm sad I didn't get one more good cancel turn. Did I only ever... Did I actually only use this once or twice? Twice, I think. Twice. Because the, uh, the one time when it was, like, it was going to do four damage to you. Yeah. Yeah. Turns out Phaedraxa. Good Phaedraxa, against Crooked Mass. Really good against Yeah. <laughs> When we have Crooked Mass Strategy Talk coming soon to a video near you, if we ever get around never to gonna remember this. recording this, we should do it right now, honestly. I mean, that's actually probably what we should start doing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, that was, uh, that was a good game. Yeah. I very much enjoyed it. I had fun. Me too. I also hope you had fun, dear viewer. Dear thank viewer. <laughs> thank you for watching. Uh, once more, whether you're watching us live on stream right now or in a video to be uploaded sometime after we're recording this, uh, we'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button, if you liked it, or even if you didn't. And <laughs> <laughs> subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends to subscribe to the channel. There's a bell if you want to hit it, but I don't condone that. I don't I do it. I don't like knowing that I don't like knowing that when I publish a video it interrupts your day. <laughs> You don't need push notifications for board game videos. That's my that's my stance. I appreciate that you do it, but you mostly just want to know when your face is on the internet. No, I want to know when your face is on the internet. Aww, that's, when I'm not with you. That's either sweet or creepy. I don't know which. Anyway. That's four bosses down. 50-ish 50, to go. Oh god. Why did I agree to this? <laughs> So we'll be back to play more Aeon's End, and probably back to, we've, we've been hinting at kind of a couple times here that we're planning to do some videos where we like review the cards in Aeon's End, or talk boss strategy, because uh, there's, there's not a lot of that out there, and I like talking. You sure do. <laughs> so look for those, probably coming soon to the channel. Till then, be optimal. Bye.